Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike's Hobby Homestead here. Um, today, we're going to be building a firewood bundling um, holding device. Uh, what I'm thinking is just using some 2x4s and making kind of like what I would picture as almost like a football goal, goal post. Um, two pieces of 2x4 going up and down, one piece going across like this, and then actually a bar, a piece of 2x4 uh, going vertical like this. So it's gonna be like this on both sides, down to a base, and then you put the wood inside of it, and then you'll actually be able to wrap around it. Um, the spacing I have is, I believe this is 15 inch foil. Or sorry, 15 inches, yep. Outside diameter is 16 inches. Um, this should work, because we cut our wood to 16 inches on length. So we should be able to just wrap around the whole thing and make it work. Um, come along and we'll try it out and see what happens. I'll take you guys along the way and we'll see how it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna cut these up and I'll get back to you, okay? Stop it. Hey guys, Mike from Mike Hobby, Mike's Hobby Homestead here. Stuttering today, a little cold out in the garage. Uh, we had an ice storm last night, so it's kind of cold out. Um, but today, we're taking seasoned 16 inch firewood Bring in the homemade firewood processor, bundler that I made. I'm just basically using my quad and my log splitter, actually. The log splitter is just supporting the firewood rack, just made out of scrap two by four. So it was actually free for me to make because I had it left over from other projects around the house. Um, basically, I'm bundling up. It's um, one foot across. By one foot high, so that'd be exactly one square foot this way. But we're actually, the wood's actually 16 inches long, so it's actually more than a cubic foot. It's probably like, I want to say one and a half, oh, it's only about, I have to calculate it, but it's probably one and a half cubic feet. Um, so a little less than one and a half, because it's one times one times a little bit less than 1.5, it'd be 1.5. Um, as you can see, you just stack the wood in there. I'm using this side right here. Try keeping it somewhat flush. And just taking the seasoned firewood that I had on my rack. This is all red oak um, from a tree that blew down a couple years ago. And it's stacked up, ready to go. Um, I split it really small, which is actually good for the, um, it's actually really good for Bundles. People like that for fireplaces. All right. Make sure you can see. Yep. All right. I'm gonna stand out of the way. All right. So basically, I bought 15 inch saran wrap, or not saran wrap, but you know, packaging wrap. Um, if I were to do it again, I think the 15 inches is a little bit too big. Um, I think the 12 inch wrap would probably fit better because as you can hear, it's stuck. Because the wood's only 16 inches, so I had to make the opening a little bit less than, I think it's like 13 inches opening. So, let's give it a tug. And just, what we're doing is we're just bundling up this way. I do like about four wraps of it. So, look at that. Uh, make it nice and tight, and that's it. And then I just open it up for the next one. Throw it through the bottom. See how it looks. Just lift it up. All right. And there we go. Nice bundle of oak, red oak. Uh, let me take you guys over to the bundling area. Okay, I'll show you guys the bundling area over here. Let me take the phone. All right, so the next step I do, right now, these are the new ones I just did. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just did six of them in about, eh, about 15, eh, about 15 minutes or so. Obviously, you know, camera setup and all that takes a little longer. Um, so this one of these is sticking out a little bit. There we go. And then the next step is, as you see in these bundles, I put straps on there. Three, uh, three quarter inch nylon webbing 
I cut it with a knife, uh, with um, scissors. The trick is for this guys to heat your scissors up with a little blowtorch. Um, it's almost impossible to cut them with scissors and leave a nice clean edge. But if you heat them up, it kind of melts the edge and it gives it a nice finished look. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, me, uh, what do you call it? Uh, putting straps on there. I'll show you guys that process in a little bit. All right. Hi guys, Mike from Mike's Hobby Homestead back. We're back. Yeah. Start up the strap cutting process. What I do is start by heating up the scissors. Heat these up a little bit. Kids in Canyon here. Now what we do is we cut these straps believe, eight inches. Now six inches. So let's heat these up. And once we measure one and get it right, we can just use that as a template for the rest of them. Okay. Should be good. There. Oh, we're not high enough yet. Not hot enough yet. Uh oh. Am I a butane? I to refill the butane. Hi right, guys. Uh, back. Just finished up bundling. As you can see, I attached a nice strap. And you see these straps are on there with two crown staples. On each side, one, two, three, four. There's a nice little handle for six inch pieces are perfect. Um, all right guys, seen. that's about it for this video. Uh, this final picture of the wood all finished. Uh, thanks for watching, have a good day.